On this episode of Bad Tree Productions, we'll incorporate my vast knowledge of building award-winning, world-dominating Pinewood Derby race cars. First, we'll sand the wheels, removing all the casting flash and ensuring that they're true and uniform. Next, we'll polish and graphite the hell out of the axles. And then lastly, we'll take the whole thing down to the post office and weigh it on their scale. What do you got there, bud? Okay, hang on a second. Hi, good more afternoon. <laughs> okay, those are... Oh, where'd you get those at? O'Reilly's. Are they 7 seven sixteenths? Right-handed. Oh, okay. Is that the only... No, this car's goofy. One of the front on the wrong side is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, somebody the... went through all the trouble, or they just grabbed a hub that... I, that's why I'm thinking they grabbed the wrong hub, but... <clears throat> that side's righty-tighty. Okay. Did you guys throw the seals in this thing? I, I did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, well, thank you. So no, yeah, no problem. It was yeah. it was quick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But I figured while this axle is out, yeah, just put fucking right hand. And I got right, right. Chrome lug nuts. We can put on the back. Oh please. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll look nice. Yeah. So I figured it'd be just just as easy to do it. Oh shit. There. Well, that's cool. So they have those available, huh? What do we wait for those? They're like ten bucks. Ten bucks, yeah, okay. like two bucks a shot or something. So well, I called last night. I was like, "Hey, you know, I all I said was I need seven sixteenths by twenty studs." Okay. Which they're that's what they are. That's all they are. These. Right, right. They're not that long. You know, they're not this long. Sure, sure. And I just got crickets on the phone. Crickets. Just oh, dead, dead silence. So I was like, I'll just stop. Do you do you have one with you? You could bring in. Okay. It was a night shift. Because you confuse me, because cricket's another word for, never mind. For baseball? Yeah. Okay. No. So anyways, I went and talked to Shub. I'm like, Shub needs some wheel studs for my, I just said for my dart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the old ones there, huh? Yeah. Okay. There's the new ones there, and they're new. Yeah. But I did notice, too, when I pulled the axle out, one of them wasn't even... Oh, all the way seated? Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. And then as I'm tapping them out with a hammer, Tyler's like, you should put a lug nut on the end of it so you don't bung up the threads because somebody else like <laughs> Because somebody might what? Want a pair of wrong way 716 studs when you can well, go buy them. <laughs> right. Well, you you can go buy them. Sure. They're out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Sean was over too last night. He was. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do yeah. you have to say? We just talk shit about you. You bastards. <laughs> was, yeah, well, it's Tyler and Sean, not you, so. Right, right. I got it. There we go. Okay, all that's right. cool. Awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm going to slam those in. Mm hmm. And then put that axle back in. Luckily, when that leaked, I didn't get on any of the shoes or nothing. Okay. So I just cleaned the you vacuum plate off. Yeah, I just cleaned the vacuum plate off a little bit and wiped it down. All right. Drove the new seal in. Right, right. That's cool. I used this job right here. Really? Yeah, I flipped. That's... The, I flipped the arms around the other way. Looks familiar. Mm. Oh, and just and just oh, and then pulled it. Okay. Yeah, I flipped them the other way. Really? I yeah, kind of ruined it though, because I mean it was already kind of a piece of shit. Wasn't yeah, it? but the the no oh. threads were bunging up on that. Yeah. Okay, whatever. But now it's just really hard to turn. Oh, sure. But well, it's fine. For somebody, yeah. For somebody. All right, that's it. Keep the accolade. Mm-hmm. Um, I got work to do, Jay. All right, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, our, fuel our, fuel, uh, our fuel system consists of... Shut up. Oh, we threw a new tank in it. We got a new um, uh, new pickup with a uh, new regulator. Uh, this is actually this. Uh, um, what is that called? Uh, the fuel fuel pickup thing. Fuel what what? It, yeah, the fuel sending unit. Yeah, it's brand new. It's it's just a cheap one that I got off of eBay. So keep your fingers crossed on that. But uh, this one also incorporates um, a quarter inch nipple for a return for a return system, and that's what we're doing here. So from the fuel tank, we go to uh, a big Mallory fuel filter and then from the filter to a mallory 140 uh gallon per hour uh gearator style fuel pump uh that's all all of this is hooked to 3 8 aluminum aluminum fuel line uh it terminates up here at the very bottom of this regulator from the regulator it goes to the right with this uh, fuel pressure regular gauge we'll be able to 
regulate it to like 70, 70 pounds or seven pounds that is uh, to the box of quad carburetor or whatever. <laughs> Any uh, excess fuel will be uh, returned uh, via the quarter inch or two return uh, uh, line. And so now this is what we're doing today or for right now, but this return line actually needs a, uh, it needs a metered orifice. And so how we're doing that is uh, we've got, a, we picked up a, uh, a set screw, kind of a short set screw and you won't be able to see it in there, but it's, uh, I'm not sure what size it is, like a 10 or, uh, or an eight or whatever size, but it kind of almost barely, just almost threads in there. And you don't have to you don't have to tap this or anything it's just kind of an interference fit so basically once it kind of grabbed i kind of tightened it and then you know ran it down in uh, about two three turns four turns maybe and so right now we need to actually drill that uh, the drill bit size is 0 0.050 so we ended up going over to our local machine shop and picking up a small drill bit because you won't be able to find, you know, we couldn't find a drill bit this small uh, at our local hardware store. So, but it's a pretty small bit. What the hell? What's that, bud? This episode is brought to you by Honest Amish. Uh, original beard wax. It's 100% natural. It's handmade, no chemicals. And it's made right here in the good old USA. Use it. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, yeah. Pretty small, spindly little drill bit, so... You'll have to proceed with caution with us. So, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to drill through this uh, set screw that I've got inside, uh, inside of here, and uh, that'll provide our metered orifice. So the gas will just be just pissing really hard through that orifice. But we uh, we actually uh, use this type of a fuel system uh, on a 78 Plymouth um, Arrow. Uh, this back in like 2003. And what happens is when you uh, when you hit the key, when you tr put it, the key in the run position, it energizes the system, pressurizes. You've got you've got uh, immediate fuel pressure, um, and then you go to start it, and the thing starts right up like EFI. And with uh, today's fuels and so on and so forth, that they have a tendency to evaporate. So if your car sits for you know four or five days, uh, you could end up having to crank it over before you end up actually getting fuel at carburetor. And this this system here will eliminate all that. So. Uh, one subscriber did mention that um, he thought that this fuel pump um, worked better with the fuel filter after the pump, like between the between the regulator and the carburetor. And uh, the Mallory instructions actually show it being set up the way we did it with the fuel filter between the gas tank and the Tyler. and the pump. So that's, that's what we that's what we got it plumbed, and that's why we're going to try it. If we end up with an issue, then we'll we'll consider switching switching the filter or whatever. But so in the meantime, uh, look forward to I'm going to get this thing screwed together, and then then we'll take it from there. All right. So the the slow and steady pace wins the race. In this case, scrotum face. Oh, where'd he go? Anyway, so here you can see. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see that little teeny hole. That's what she should look like when you're done. Anyway, yeah, you got to really work it slow because uh, this bit is, it's uh, it's real flexible. It'll be easy to break this. Um, the set screw itself is, uh, it's kind of a harder material. You know, set screws usually are. But uh, in this case, it actually drilled through. It took a little bit, took a little while, but... Uh, but I just took my time and uh, went through it. You know, I imagine if you have the chance, maybe you can find a set screw that's just a little softer material. Like, uh, I don't know if they make them out of aluminum, but I kind of doubt it. But maybe they do. But that might work out better. But anyway, that's what we got. So, you know, I'm going to stick around the fuel regulator. And then I'll be able to make this connection. And that part's done. All right, so there you have it. So that connection's done. I, I believe the fuel system, I think with the exception of uh, uh, routing to the carb, which we don't have rebuilt yet, uh, I think that's done. So 
Uh, the fuel pump was actually plumbed in, or the, the electrical actually ends up going over to uh, our relay box here. So, so this relay here will, uh, will snap the fuel pump on. Um, yeah, that'll work out good. And then it's fused. I can't remember what the what the amp rating on the fuse was. Maybe it was it was 30 or 15, whatever, one or the other. But so there you go. All right, so around here we've been struggling with uh, wiring issues, and as I probably pointed out before, the 67 Barracuda is full of uh, bastardization parts or whatever, one-off parts that aren't really normal or, or considered uh, typical of other A-bodies. Wiring is no no exception. Uh, some of the wire colors are different color, or some of the wire colors are different colors. Oh, shut up. So with that in mind, I went up on uh, wiringschematic.com or whatever, and. Um, I ordered a full color uh, laminated uh, print of a wiring schematic. It looked really cool. Uh, I ordered that back on December 14th. It's currently January 29th right now. It's been lost down in Florida. I called a couple of times to no avail. I didn't get a hold of anybody. And if they tried to call me back, maybe I wasn't at the phone booth or whatever the hell uh, at the time they called. I fired up my web TV and I sent these guys off an email and they replied back, you know, rather promptly. So they said, hey, I don't know what the hell the deal is, but it's, uh, it's stuck down in Florida. Uh, we'll ship it off to you again right away. We'll ship out another one. They, they, I guess they're, they're, they've got another one sent, you know, on its way. They also mentioned that uh, if the second one shows up, uh, just, uh, just refuse it. So, not gonna do that. What are you doing? Oh man! Well, you know, <laughs> being that we are. Uh, locally famous my buddy snow thrower she's all wobbled out so I'm just gonna weld a washer on it on both sides uh, and calls it good work it well you want to hold this while I sure wire Pack wheel it, it? whatever <laughs> <laughs> right we end up with matching fucking fingers. <laughs> what do you got here? Both mm. all reaction. Yeah. They uh yeah, air mail from Air Mail. The wilds of Borneo. Or, or Canada, I guess. Canada. What the hell? Yeah. British Columbia. Oh, so what the hell that's ever? cool. Oh what the hell? So this is I guess stuff Blake. Blake one. One. So it's I mean, it doesn't sound broken. No, not yet. <laughs> so we might call him up. Maybe. Thanks for your support, Luke, Rob, the car guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought that too. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. So we'll get into that soon enough. I reckon. All right, we're done with this. <laughs> Whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna... Jeremy's gonna, what, fog it. All right, we'll be, back. The... we'll be back with some Where serious shit. What's it look like? 100%. Really, way it's to like go. shit now. Well, it's you. <laughs> now it's you. All right, so we were able to spare you the boring bolt-by-bolt -bolt details on replacing the... Uh, rear axle seals, which is unfortunate. Thank you, by the way, Jeremy. You're welcome. It's not that hard. You pull them out, tap new ones in. Right, um, right. There might be somewhere, some footage somewhere where we actually talked about the leak. Maybe. Maybe. Somebody recorded it, the putt on the floor. Someone recorded a Blake just jerking the axles out and then destroying the seals basically in the process without knowing. Right, about it. right. Which in turn made more work for, <laughs> you know. Top mechanical over future, here. future, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
So, yeah, yeah, instead we ended up uh, recording uh, how to repair Dino's snowblower. So, anyway, that's too bad. Or, so. Well, you know, it's an episode. <laughs> and uh, right, right. put uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey threads or studs. Right. On the driver's axle, finally. Yeah, so there'll be no confusion, especially for blind old guys, you know, looking at, well, you can't see them anyway, but these are acorn nuts. They're really kind of nice. So, anyway, yeah, those look good. Anyway, these wheels will be going. Uh, in the future, anyway, everything will be a big bolt pattern once we get uh, we get our upper control arm spindles for uh, brake swap coming That's up in the brakes. future. Well, we we've yep. got big bolt rallies. Yep, yep, sure, sure. So when we do the front end swap, we can still have matching wheels. When we do the rear end swap, we can yeah. still have matching wheels unless you get aftermarkets. Right, right. So like some twenties. No, no. Yes. I was thinking about going with some just some plain steel wheels, ordering up a set to the width that we need, like say eight inch wide steel wheel, uh fifteen inch big bolt pattern. What about cop and car? Those wheels? will be well those maybe. No, like off your cop car. Oh, those don't fit on this. No. Different bolt pattern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Metric. Yeah. Is it metric? I probably, think? probably is, yeah. Uh, aftermarket yeah. wheels, well, yeah, old cop car wheels would fit, like what's on Blake's car. Yeah, it'd be cool to get some, like, 17s. Right. And that's actually an idea. I mean, uh, uh, since the, the source of old cop car wheels has dried up, you know, that's the junkyard, basically. Mm -hmm. I used to be able to pick them up for 25 bucks, 30 bucks a piece, or whatever the hell. You can't do that anymore. So now another another option is actually going to the junkyard and grabbing uh, some, like, Jeep Grand Cherokee wheels. They're the same bolt pattern as... Oh. Big bolt pattern Mopar. Plus, you can get those in a seventeen. You can get those in aluminum wheels. Whatever trips your trigger, you can. You know, it'll get you by. It'll get you by for get, cheap. Seventeen gets you a taller rear tire. Sure, sure. If you needed it, right. And your options are more. Mm -hmm. I mean, years ago, fourteens and fifteens you had in your cars. It was easy to get tires mm -hmm. and cheap. Right now, right. it's like we're you know yeah. you got to order them. But 14s are hard to get, but 15s, yeah, you can still get 15s, but... 14s are more expensive than 15s. Right, yeah. Like so for a decent 14, is more than for the comparable 15. Right, I imagine. I know that for a fact. Well, more rubber, you'd think, right? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what the... Anyway, that's it for us today, I'm guessing. What else we do? Anything? No. Uh, fuel system's kind of buttoned up for the most part. Uh, yeah. I went fishing and dropped my phone in the water. Broke yeah. a fishing pole and yeah. lost a, one of my favorite bungee cords. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Uh, i got a few things underneath the button up, and that'll be uh, transmission lines. Uh, so, And that's about it for underneath. Then I can get out from underneath of this pig, which will be nice. Uh, it'll be it'll be great when we're screwing actually screwing in the, the exhaust system because... Uh, that means we're done basically underneath there. That'll be the fun part, I think. Uh, then we can throw some carpeting in, whatever. We can throw a blanket over it to kind of protect the carpeting. That'll make working on this dash a lot better. Uh, like I said, my schematic is coming. It's a colored schematic, like 18 by 24, which let's is going to help. The, let's save the carpet install until after the exhaust is on. Yeah. In case we have to weld any hangers on the floor. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, good idea. Carpet. Good idea. Yeah, but but other than that, it'll just be laying back there. We'll just peel it up if we need to. Chilling. So we need to, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's that. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh. Quality replacement parts, Crown Automotive for Jeep vehicles. That's cool. Right off road. Huh. So we got one, two, three, four, a dumb. Oh, Lord. Now we've got 12 of those. Crown sticker. Nice. Cool. Let's we'll throw that out. What's that? Dry meter. <laughs> Contains alo and lanolin, lanoline. Cool. Made in Cunada. Cool. Nice. And cleanser, not cleaner. Oh, it's you put after your, you get, after you clean your hands. <laughs> you can cleanse them. And here's a magnet. Magnet. Nice. Cool.
The car guys. Mm. The car guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having your live event. Yeah. Because Good you know out. we need koozies. Not yeah. everybody <laughs> watches. We do. Hell. Because after a few uses, they get dirtier in hell. Here we go. With the rest of them. You can literally never have too many laying around, so. No. You got those goofy plier ones. Those are kind of nice. Yeah, I think these are yeah, like. Huh? Oh, they fit the Coors? They fit the Coors perfect. I think they know what they're up to up there. What's yeah, the Coors up there? PC light or something, ain't it? They're on the up and up. I'm not sure. Might be right. For sure. All right. Well, Blake, uh, like a blister, showed up when the work was done. Mm -hmm. Wearing tennis shoes. Yeah, I didn't walk here. <laughs> Oh, Andy got some more uh, wiring down the carburetor, too, it looks like. Never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> I don't know how they make stuff like that work. Jay, uh, yeah, Jay wasn't happy. <laughs> we still laughed about it. What, it's got a carb heater plugged into it now? Yeah. For optimal fuel atomization. Oh, you plugged it. <laughs> <laughs> it works, man. All right, well... What's next? Go home and edit this? Yeah. Make videos. Mm. I'm going to do a little more fishing tomorrow. i got to catch something. And okay. then... Alpine stopped today for the internet problems. And they replaced my modem slash router. And now it works like a dream. I've only... Isn't that what you said? Like eight months ago. I it was a can Nazi. Blake the tech wizard. <laughs> it's good for me to just open it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, do that. Um, Jay's got to work tomorrow, so. No. I had an idea of what I wanted I to do to the car next. I just got my, uh, but then I forgot about it. So I stayed home. <laughs> All right. Later. We'll do that. Bye. <laughs>